Anything to coppers. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. I'm just going to share with you how do I make planners here in our studio. So step one, you create an artwork. So let's say this one. I create this one first and then transfer it in my computer. For example, print the name using my AI, Adobe Illustrator. And then for the inside pages of my notebook, I usually do it also in AI because, I don't know, it's more flexible for me rather than doing it in InDesign. I know, I'm weird. Because, you know, if I'm going to create it with AI, I need to arrange it by myself, which it really takes time. So I need to figure it out how to uh, arrange it. Like, you know, when you print it, you'll just cut and then boom, class. My husband knows how to do it and then I'm not really doing it because i'm lazy to, to, to learn about it but yeah i'm always i'm always asking him to do it for me like here's a good example i really like to edit everything here in ai rather than in indesign and here's in my inside pages i also edit here in ai and then print it with my printer which is a canon g6040 so here is the cover i already printed them and then I'm just going to laminate it with our matte lamination so it will help to protect the cover and the art as well. So here is our laminating machine. Our laminating machine is a double-sided uh, lamination but I chose only to laminate it up front just to save also the film. So I'm using 15 mil for the lamination for my um, for my planner. So you can feel the texture of it. It's really nice, and then it has this kind of like it's smooth texture when you touch it. There, I don't know if you can see it. Wait. So here, as you can see, this is uh, the lamination of it. It's really nice, and then it's smooth. And it's soft. I feel like there's no lamination, but there is a lamination. Uh, there is a lamination in it. It's just thin, so it somehow preserves the artwork as well as the time goes by, of course. going to print everything here with my Canon G6040. This one is a double-sided printer which helps me to print back to back here. See? Back to back. Plus, it helps me also to print um, the covers as well. Here, I'm going just to cut the sides of it to be even. And Afterwards, we're going to make the cover and to bind them as well. So as you can see right now, I'm using a electric cutting machine. But before, I'm using a manual one. I tow it somewhere. But yeah, because right now, it's been hard for me to use a manual one. It's because whenever I have a lot of orders, I tend to be clumsy. I wasted so much papers, time. So yeah, why not invest to a machine, an electric one that will help me to finish my order. So I'm just buying time and making orders. So I have my uh, measurements already. Oh, 49. Push it there. Cut it into half. message so these are for the message in the planner like the front page where in the customers can customize it to put like letters or motivations for themselves you know or message for themselves it's a thoughtful gesture if you're going to give a your friend and to give a gift that has a message that you know they can carry around at the same time will remember that it was from you so yeah, it's a special thought, you know, that's how we think about it. 
so now i'm just going to trim everything so they look even and looks nice bismillah Are the things that you need for your planner I'm just going to cut the excess lamination film here in my print so I can stick it in the um, cardboard that I have here I'm using a 1.5 millimeter thickness of my planner I don't want to be too thick it's because it's too heavy when you carry them because the paper itself already inside it will be heavy already because it's thick here the plan so when you carry it on it's more easier it's lightweight to carry it and it's also thick as well if you're going to put the cover already see So we always take away on the perspective of the consumer. Like for me, I, I like planners so much for myself. So that's why I always think what's the best for me. Like, like what's the best planner for me whenever I'm making a planner or getting materials or things like that. And then it took me really a while to get these things like for example the lamination, the cardboard that I really like before we able to really sell it so what we do before we did like a bulk order of notebooks without covers and then we're doing the covers here so here it is I cut them already there I leave some space so I can able to fold them later on and stick it here with my cardboard so before I'm using this one, the cinch, for punching my planners, now we're going to try my new machine. This guy, we're going to try it. And this is a new machine, so that's why we're trying to adjust it, calibrate, yeah, that's the term, sorry. one notebook is done so while Ahmoudi is doing the uh, inside pages I'm going to the, co the cover right now so here let's start from here Bismillah. trying to make it in the middle Use your. I forgot the term for this one. Canada. sticker paper also on the back so it will not see now I 
finish when I cut this little small things here at the side. I forgot. <laughs> I finished already the cover right here. Now I'm going to put some layering in here. So I'm just going to preheat it until it reaches 100. And then, inshallah, I hope it'll be nice. Let's see. Just trying to match it with the paper because we're bunch. 